Welcome to Tartle. I'm your host, Matthew Smith. This is going to be a quick five minute overview of the buyer terminal, what things mean, how to navigate, what to do. I want to first start off by thanking you for taking the steps into acquiring ethically sourced data right from the source, either for AI and machine learning, enhancing data sets, creating new data sets, lead generation, whatever it is. If you have any other ideas, please let us know and contact us. I will start here on the dashboard. We have this separated by country and uh, worldwide. You can see how many users are in each country, the age ranges, the sex, and the representative number of Tartle users compared to worldwide if you're looking at the country view. From here, we'll go into categories and data packets. On the left side, you'll see our different categories. Within those are our data packets. Once you open a data packet, you can see the different data points. If there is a category or data packet not currently on this marketplace, you can suggest one by clicking the plus sign. If you want a custom data packet, please reach out to me, help at tartle.co, Matthew Smith, and we can get a meeting set up to customize your own packet for your company. For this example, I will go to data packet nine. This is going to be de-identified ethnicity. On this graph, you can see the average price of this packet and what it's gone for, the max price this packet has gone for, the different data points you'll be getting in this data packet, and whether or not you want to create bid. We have single bids and subscription slash real-time bids. Single bids last for 24 hours. This is packed into a CSV. It's more of a snapshot where subscription is ongoing real time. Bids are coming in at any time and it's packed into JSON files. We can click make a bid. How many packets do you want? How much are you going to pay per packet? We have advanced filters. I have a separate walkthrough video for you to go through if you want to see an overview of these. We can get very specific with our bid filters. Once we click continue, that's the data fee going directly to the sellers. You are ethically sourcing it. It is going right to our sellers, our service fee that Tartle collects, and the total price you are paying. Now these bids are going to last, again, single bids, 24 hours, subscription bids, until you want it to end, or until the number of packets is filled. So if I want five packets and I want this to end at the end of the month, if I fill those five packets in five minutes, the, the bid is done, the bid is complete, it is now closed. So we can look at our active bids. I don't have any single bids active, but we do have subscription bids. You can see the data packet name, the description, the price we are paying per data packet, how many we've sold, how many we want to buy, the time remaining. If we open this data packet up, uh, how, many we've, how much we've paid, how many we bought, when we started this bid, when this bid is scheduled to end, we can download the data, the different data packet questions. And once a bid has closed, once it's reached its time limit or quantity, we can go to single bids, open the single closed bid up. We can download the data, when the transaction was, what we paid, the packet questions. And for subscription bids, same thing open this one right up. We got the JSON files, the packet questions, how much we sold, what we paid, when we started the bid, what the end time bid is. And if you need to add funds to your Tartle account, we have our available balance and then a separate amount locked in at standing bids to request an invoice. This will throw you right into an email form, submit how much money you want, and we will upload that to your Tartle account after you pay your invoice. We also have the ability to do an open API call. And Tartle is free to join, always. You are only paying for the data you are purchasing. So feel free when you sign up to give this a look through. And I appreciate you watching.